our chef, Paolo, is going to help us find the molecular formula from experimental data. We're going to use his recipe just like we did when we found empirical formulas. The first step in finding the molecular formula from data is to determine the empirical formula. We did that in a previous lesson. We'll demonstrate that again here. But that is the first step, find the empirical formula. Then we have to calculate the molar mass of that empirical formula, which is very easy once we've found that formula. Then we need to calculate an integer number by taking the molar mass of the molecular formula divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula. And finally, we need to multiply all parts of the empirical formula by that integer. This will all make sense when we go through an example. In essence, we need to answer this question. How many empiricals fit into the molecular? Is it just one empirical formula is equal to the molecular formula? Or is it two empiricals? Or three? Or four? How many? Let's show that on the next slide. A sample of a compound has 26.33 grams of nitrogen, 60.20 grams of oxygen, and a molar mass of 92 grams. Let's find the molecular formula. As Paolo indicated on the previous slide, we first need to find the empirical formula. Those four steps, which were covered in a previous lesson, are as follows. Get grams of each element. That's easily done. It's given in the problem. Convert each of those grams into moles of that element. So we're going to look up the molar mass of each of these elements on the periodic table. We're not finding here moles of diatomic nitrogen or moles of diatomic oxygen. It's very easy to write in this conversion factor one mole of N2 is 28 grams of N2. We don't want to know how many moles of N2 we have. We want to know how many moles of N. Similarly with oxygen. So be careful not to make that mistake. That gives us this number of moles of nitrogen and oxygen. The next step in finding the empirical formula is to divide each of those number of moles by the smallest. Sometimes you can skip that step if the numbers of moles is a pretty obvious ratio. In this case, a 1 to 2 ratio. We have successfully found the empirical formula for this compound. Now we need to determine the molecular formula. The molecular formula will either be NO2, or it will be twice that, or it will be three times that, or it will be four times that, and so on. And the way we figure that out is to compare the molar mass of the empirical formula with the molar mass of the molecular formula. The molar mass of the empirical formula is 46 grams. And here's how we got that. I didn't show my work here, but I'll just explain it very quickly. We look on the periodic table and find N is worth 14. and We find O is worth 16. So we take two 16s plus a 14, and that's 46. That's the molar mass of the lowest terms formula, the empirical formula. You look up at the top of the screen here, the molar mass of the molecular formula is given as 92 grams. How many 46's does it take to get you up to 92? And that answer is 2. So our molecular formula is not NO2, it's twice that, N2O4.